Okay, let's talk about percent. And uh, percent problems can come in all sorts of flavors. And one typical type of problem that maybe you haven't seen in a while, because almost all of you have seen something like this, but maybe some of you have uh, forgotten, is a problem like this. And the question is, what percent is shaded? So you can see we have a rectangular grid, and we have some of these boxes that are shaded, and we want to know what percent of this uh, diagram is shaded. So of course you're gonna need to understand some basic percent principles. If you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. Of course, I'm gonna um, uh, go through this step by step in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, all of you can be successful in math, especially those of you out there that are struggling. So if you think that you can't pass math or you can't learn math, you absolutely can, but it requires great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, a lot of you, and probably most of you are gonna be taking a test like this. Now, I'm talking about things like the SAT, ACT, GED, maybe a teacher certification exam. If uh, you're going into college or post-secondary training, you will be taking an entrance test or placement test. So almost all of you go on that route. We'll need to uh, prepare for these type of tests. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning homeschool courses. You can find all this stuff, of course, by going to my website. If you need a pair of math notes, and hopefully you do not, because it's critical that you're uh, to be successful in math, you just got to take great math notes. But if your notes are not up to speed quite yet, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Okay, so... First of all, we need to have a basic strategy here, right? So to figure this out, if I want to know what percent of this is shaded, what information are we going to uh, need to know? Well, you're going to have to have a basic sense of what percent is, okay? So that's the first thing. And then we're going to have to count up, we're going to have to count uh, what, uh, well, let me just ask you here, let me phrase it this way. What are we going to need to count uh, for this particular problem, okay? We're going to have to count up two things. We're going to have to count up how many of the squares here are shaded. So we're going to need that information. And of course, you just kind of just look at the figure and count this stuff up. And then we need to know the total number of squares. OK, so we'll just call these squares. So we're going to have to do some counting. But if you can get this count and this count and you have a basic knowledge of percent, well, then you can figure this problem out, okay? So if you think you can do this now, you're like, okay, no, I, you know, your, maybe your brain is kind of warmed up a bit to this problem. Uh, this is a pretty direct, simple percent problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the solution now. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, let's just kind of quickly understand what percent is. So something like this, percent is going to be a part out of a whole, okay? So in this type of situation, that's what we're going to be getting. But if I take a part out of a whole in this uh, particular situation, you're going to end up with a decimal. Okay, so when I do this fraction, I want to have a decimal. So I'm going to have to multiply by 100 to get a percent. You'll see this in action here in a second. So just remember, the question is asking about uh, what percent is shaded. So don't leave your final answer as a decimal or fraction. But let's go ahead and get to this now. All right, so what is the part? Well, the part is how much of this um, grid is shaded. So let's just count this uh, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine of the boxes here are shaded. And then how many um, total boxes do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can uh, take this eight, multiply by one, two, three, four. So that is 32. Okay, so we have 32, that's our whole. Our part is nine, so nine out of 32 will give us what? Well, it'll give us the decimal 0 0.28125, but uh, the question is asking about what percent. So to go from a decimal to percent, effectively there's two ways to think about it, okay? 
in a more straightforward kind of uh, explanation, what you're doing is multiplying by 100. And the effect of that is moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So 0.28125 is our decimal. When we multiply that by 100 or um, move that decimal point over two places to the right, we end up with 28.125%. So that's uh, the percentage of how many of these boxes here are shaded in this diagram. So this is a pretty easy uh, percent problem. Now, if you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face. I'm gonna give you an A plus. I'm gonna give you just a straight 100% because this wasn't the most difficult problem, but it certainly warrants a few stars who could feel extra special today. So nice job. Now, if you didn't get this right, or if you were confused about it, hopefully this uh, little explanation helped you out. And if you do understand, well, go ahead and um, walk away from this video with a nice little happy face because math is really about, you know, figuring out what you don't understand and then learning and just to keep improving your skills. It's a, it's kind of a fluid dynamic. Okay. You just don't learn math and stop and then you're all done. Okay. And uh, with it comes to basic concepts like percent, there's all sorts of uh, different type of percent problems you can encounter percent word problems, things like this. So if you're working on a percent right now in maybe one of your particular math courses, let me give you a couple of uh, suggestions. One, uh, to get better at percent, I have a math foundations course that goes over a lot of basic things. It's a little mini course, three chapter course you might be interested in. Uh, and I do teach percent thoroughly in my pre-algebra and algebra one courses as well. And I have a ton of other videos on my YouTube channel that cover percent, but there's a lot more you want to know about uh, percent. But again, you could certainly run into a problem like this. All right, if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.